If you're trying to figure out why a web page is not ranking as high as it should on Google, you need to make sure that that page is search engine friendly. I'm going to show you how you could use our SEO checker to audit any page to see if it's properly optimized for SEO. So let's get started. Okay, so there are essential things that you need to look at when auditing a page to make sure that it is SEO friendly. Now, I like to look at these five things to start off with. The first thing I like to look at is the page URL. Now, let's just say we want to rank for essential oils for sleep. The page URL should have this search phrase, okay? So this is one of the pages that are ranking. And as you can see here, this is the page path. Sleep aids forward slash best essential oils for sleep. So the search phrase is in the URL and that's excellent. Another great example is this one. You can see the page path here and it also has the phrase essential oils for sleep as well. Now, when it comes to URLs, you don't want them to be extremely long with additional words or characters that are really not needed. So the shorter, the better. I also like to look at the page title. So you can look at the page titles in the Google search results pages themselves. So the page titles are these uh, blue links right here, blue or purple links if you've clicked on them. You need to have your search phrase in the page titles. Now, similarly with the URLs, you don't want them extremely long and you want them to make sense. You can also hover over the tabs to take a look at the page titles as well. I also like to look at the page meta description. Now the meta description sometimes shows up at the bottom portion of the organic listings. Many times Google pulls different text on the page to show up in the meta description area, but it's still very important that you create a meta description that explains what the page is about and has your search phrase that you want to rank for. Now, as you can see, these are not the actual meta descriptions, but I'll show you with SEO Minion how you can very quickly pull the meta description of the page you are checking. And I also like to look at the header tags, okay? So each page should only have one H1 tag. Now, the H1 tag is generally at the very top and it's the text that is the largest. So this one is an H1 tag, the best essential oils for sleep. And again, it does have the uh, search phrase right here. Aside from one H1 tag, you need to have additional header tags as well. So H2 all the way to H six if needed, but ideally you need at least a few H2s depending on your content and topic that you are writing about. So you want to make sure your header tags make sense, that they have additional keyword modifiers and nothing else. Okay. So for this example, it's showing different um, essential oils like chamomile, cedarwood, clary sage oil, and so on, which makes sense because they are talking about the best essential oils for sleep. Now this page has different header tags. So as you can see here, it's a little bit longer, but it does have the main search phrase in the H1. And then as you scroll, they talk more about in general essential oils for sleep. So as, as you could see this H2, and then they go on to talk about the specific essential oils, very similarly to uh, this page. Now you can use SEO Minion to do all of this and more. So SEO Minion is a Chrome and Firefox extension. So when you click on the SEO Minion icon, when you are on the page that you want to do an SEO check on, just click on it and it'll open up this side menu right here. Now this is an excellent SEO checker that helps you analyze the on-page SEO. So I'm going to click on analyze on page SEO and here we go. So it has all of the main elements you need to check. So it has the URL right here, the page title. It also counts the characters as well. Now the page title should be 60 characters or less. And this is the meta description and that should be around 150 characters or less. Now this one is three characters too long as you can see here. You can also see the canonical URL here. Now this is a URL that Google will rank. So most of the times the canonical URL should be the exact same as the URL that you are on. But if you have maybe a duplicate page and you want that other duplicate page to rank on Google, then that URL will be the canonical. You also can view the meta robots right here as well. And you can view a list of all of the headings that are pulled on this page in this table right here. So you could see the H1 and a list of the various H2s. Now this SEO checker also counts how many images are on the page and it also lists how many images are without an alt text. Now you want to add an alt text to every single image if it makes sense. It describes what the image is about and you can see the open graph tags right here. So this information is what would show when you share this article on social media. Okay, let's click on the back icon. You can also use this SEO checker to highlight all links on the page. You can also check broken links. Now this is a 
very helpful one. So if you click on this, SEO Minion will scan all the links on the page and it will tell you how many links are broken. So it found one 404 link on the page. You can also view all links. So the 404 page, the broken link is listed right here. So it's from the cdc.gov website and there's a couple that are redirects. So what this page needs to do is switch out this 404 link to a valid one. Let's go back. You can also check the hreflang tags, compare the HTML code versus the DOM, and also some SERP features as well. So as you can see, SEO Minion is a powerful SEO checker that you could use to audit any page you want. So that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. If you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.